Hey, welcome as we have a look at the first followers of Jesus and how they figured out how it was they were going to bring this message of Jesus to the whole world. We understand that they were filled with a power greater than themselves. The Holy Spirit not only came upon them with power, but also with revelation and understanding so that they could make sense of what was going on. One of these instances in Acts chapter 3 is uh, Peter and John going to the temple. And what's really interesting about Acts chapter 3, if you want to have a read, uh, is that Peter and, and John are acting just like Jewish believers, like they always would have. They're going to the temple at 3 o'clock, which is the time to pray. Uh, the Jews would all gather there to pray together. They're acting just like they normally would, except there is something different happening as well. On the way to the temple, they see a man who's lame and begging on the outskirts, not quite allowed into the temple. The scripture says he's, he's leaning against a gate called Beautiful, which is a really fascinating thing because there is no archaeological evidence of a gate named Beautiful in any of the plans that they can find in the outskirts of the temple. As a matter of fact, the translated gate beautiful actually kind of looks like a doorway. Gate is a doorway and beautiful is this, this uh, glory, this kingdom, this essence. In other words, there's this portal, there's this realm of God's kingdom coming to earth. And, and what's exceptional about the story is that Peter and John, even though they're on their way to pray to meet God in the temple, on their way to the temple, they meet God in this lame beggar of a man by a beautiful gate or a portal to the kingdom, which is of course everywhere if you have eyes to see. And this is what happens in the disciples is they have eyes to see now, just like Jesus used to when they were around with Jesus. You remember Jesus used to see everyone and everything differently than anybody else. Like people would see women and think like, oh no, liability. Jesus would see women and think, oh great, apostles. You know, everything he saw differently. And right now in Acts 3, we see his believers, his followers, his first followers beginning to see everything the way Jesus saw everything. The Holy Spirit is helping the disciples see See life and see everyone differently. Where they might have once been on their way to pray and considered a blind beggar or a lame man or someone on the escorts or someone who's needy as a diversion from their worship, now they see it as a way of worship. Now they see these instances, these possibilities as ways the kingdom is coming to earth. This is also what God wants to do for you and I, to give us eyes to see his kingdom coming now as it is in heaven. I hope you can see that way.